So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in Windows Update Settings. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, we're going to click on Advanced Options and then you want to click on Optional Updates. And if you have a Bluetooth update right here, you want to install it and then this should fix your problem. For the second method, you want to head over to search and then type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, you're going to click on Check for Updates and do the updates that your computer may have. For the third method, you want to head over to search and then type in Device Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're going to have Bluetooth. Now for me personally, I don't have Bluetooth on this computer, but for you it's going to say Bluetooth. Once you find Bluetooth, you want to expand it, and then you want to find your device. You want to right click on it, and then click on Update Driver, and then click on Search Responsibility for Drivers. Make sure that the best drivers for your device have been installed, and then this might fix your problem. For the last method, you want to head over to Search, and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as Administrator, and then click on Yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan has been completed, you want to restart your computer and then that should fix your problem. 